Welcome to the Oracle of the Day. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. Hi. How are you guys? I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, hi. It's nice to see you. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you're a returning subscriber, hi. How are you? I love you guys. So I'm going to get just some uh, cards here from the, um, the Art Nouveau Tarot. This is a manifesting deck, so... All right, keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do, wow, that's too many. <laughs> um, I do offer private sessions, personal sessions. All that information is down in the description box and um, my contact information is somewhere on the screen. All right, we'll get three more. We're gonna see what's manifesting. All right, need two more. That's too many. How many do I need? One, 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 two, three, four, five. We'll take those. Okay. But we'll flip that one over. Ooh, five of pentacles. That is always such a powerful card when it shows up. Okay. It just, it is. The energy of it is, you know, it's intense when we feel that. I keep forgetting to throw those. So, okay. Um, we have the fool. The Page of uh, Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this out as well so you guys can see it. Okay. Well, you know, this energy never feels good when it shows up. It's often about feeling ostracized or poor, lack, not having, being an outsider. It can also be like an energy of being the outsider, the rebel, you know, not afraid to make decisions that go against the grain. And um, we have, this isn't temperance, this is judgment. Uh, I'm getting a lot of energy of like self-reflection here. I feel like... This is work that's been ongoing for a long time. With the page of uh, swords here, I'm feeling a lot of new inspiration coming, like new clarity, especially with the Knight of Wands here. And the outcome I'm feeling is this wounded warrior. So this is someone who's been through a lot, Five of Pentacles, and this is the process of becoming um, healed. You know, just because we're healed doesn't mean we don't have wounds, you know. Uh, there are wounds we'll always carry. You know, it, it just, that's how you heal up. You scab over, but you can still see where there was damage done, you know. So, um, but that doesn't make you any less victorious over this really, it feels like for some of you, this is illness. Like this is something like either mental illness or like physical illness, a physical injury. Um, and there's a need here to be patient with yourself, especially with this mental energy I'm feeling like be patient. Don't be afraid to take your time, but I'm honing in on the woman here. Who's kind of in this throes of regret or, um, sadness or, oh no, judgment's coming to me. And I, I feel this judgment card is a good thing. It doesn't feel like a bad thing at all. Um, I feel like karma, good karma, karma, you know, if you believe in it or not, it's good energy. Good energy is coming forward, okay? And with that, it's going to be a situation where um, it feels so good with the fool that you may hesitate, okay? You may hesitate because this is pretty heavy energy right here. Um, and it's okay to take a moment and wait. I'm feeling like uh, the page of of swords here is coming across of like as like signs inspiration possibilities coming forward um and uh that that will grow very quickly with the knight of wands here there will be a resurgence of vitality and create creative energy coming forward and i feel like this nine of wands wounded warrior has a story to tell okay um yeah and the story is going to help a lot of people, all right? So, um, and, and that could be just people, your friends. It doesn't have to be like masses of people. A lot of people are more than two, okay? Whatever you think is a lot of people. But, you know, when you heal yourself, you heal others, okay? 
And I know that this doesn't feel good. I think you may have um, had to let go of some people in your life. And a lot of times that makes us feel very isolated. Or you may be in the process of letting go of people um, and moving towards something else. I'm, I'm feeling like no matter how wounded this energy feels, no matter how battered, torn, and this could be from trauma as well, uh, there's an energy here. They're still walking. They're still going. They haven't stopped. They haven't given up. And there's something about an energy that doesn't give up that moves you into this full energy, that moves you into a place of hope. You know, even though you may be working very hard at some things, um, there's a moment where, like, clarity comes through and you're just able to move forward, okay, in, in hope. There's a lot of hope here. And I feel like the Knight of Wands here could be a person around you or um, like a boss or someone who sees your work uh, as far as career related here. And uh, they really get full behind what you're doing. Okay, whatever, however that resonates for you. Okay, but there's definitely like winner energy like this. This wounded warrior may have been through a lot of battles. Look at all those wands behind this wounded warrior, but they're still standing and they're ready to go. They're ready to go again. So uh, don't give up. It's very important. That's a big message I'm getting here. Do not give up. Black cat. Fortune meets opportunity. And we have dove. Be at peace. Be at peace because this thing is going to happen. Okay? It's destined. The work that you've been doing, the uh, focus you've had, this energy is fading. Don't let any distractions of this energy returning keep you from moving forward, okay? Keep you from uh, your destiny, okay? Let me get one more card here. Do you hear my stomach growl? <laughs> okay. Ah, bottom one. Nothing will come of the situation. So there's not, and it's landing on this card here. So I'm feeling like the lack that you're feeling, it, it it is a distraction, okay? It's not what's really going on. What's really going on is you're being harnessed for something greater, okay? Can we get one of these little guys here? Whoops. Well, I just boofed the whole deck, okay. Let me try it one more time, okay? <laughs> Well, I'm going to take both of those. There's only two there. Let me go ahead and throw these dice before, before I forget. Okay. Oh, we got two. Is that one flip? But it was a two. So two, two, four, five, and one. So the repeating numbers are two. So twos are going to be signs of alignment for you guys. So be open to that. Be open to seeing those numbers. Um, that may be a marker of when to go, what to act on. Okay. So just pay attention to that. Oh, I got three happy, happy love, a joyful, stable partnership with good friends. That's what's being manifested with all this work here. That's a lot to come out of this lack energy to this, to having people who care about you and you care about them. Tree of life, true wisdom and making good choices. So, um, be at peace because, uh, I feel like there are some decisions coming for you and a state of peace is really going to help you. It's going to feed, it's going to feed the flow. Okay. Harmony in the home and great friendships. So I feel like for some of you, a lot of your friendships will deepen and new people will come forward. This wounded warrior energy is very strong. It's, it's a hero. You know, most heroes don't come out of battles unscathed. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right. Uh, you may feel battle-worn, but wear your scars proudly because it makes you who you are. All right? Okay, guys, that's what I got for us today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.